Good morning, Newman Smith. My name is Dr. Jimenez, the proud principal of Newman Smith High School, where our mission is to graduate all scholars to be college, career, or military ready without remediation. Well, our seniors are getting it done this week. They are taking the TSIA2, formerly known as the Accuplacer, this week. Today, they start taking it in their English classes, and that is today and tomorrow. So seniors and our English department, thank you, thank you so much. Well, our SAT word of the day is conduct. It's a verb, and it has two meanings, to control or manage or to behave in a certain way. The sample sentence is, be sure to conduct yourself accordingly while waiting for the bus. So scholars, please check your email today. I sent you an email about our new bus procedures. All right, we have a very special guest on our news today. We are celebrating Native American Heritage Month, and we're inviting our social studies department head, Heather Summers, Miss Summers, over to give our announcement for Native American Heritage Month. Good morning, Trojans. Native American and Alaska Native Heritage Month has evolved from its beginning as a week-long celebration in 1986 when President Reagan proclaimed the week of November 23rd through 30th, 1986 as American Indian Week. Every president since 1995 has issued annual proclamations designating the month of November as the time to celebrate the cultures, accomplishments, and contributions of Native Americans and Alaska Natives. The month is a time to celebrate rich and diverse cultures, traditions, and histories, and to acknowledge the important contributions of Native or Indigenous people. Today, we leave you with a quote from the Dakota tribe. The saying goes, we will be known forever by the tracks we leave. Today, think about what kind of tracks you will leave. And we'll be back on the news uh, this week and next week to give you guys more facts about Native American History Month. Have a wonderful week, Trojans. Thank you, Ms. Summers. All right, let's welcome back real quick news regular Kelly fan because believe it or not, she's got a couple of nice things to say to our teachers. Hey guys, I'm Kelly. I just wanted to thank all the teachers. I know that we're wrapping it up towards the end of the semester. So I just wanted to say thank you all, especially Ms. Claypool and Mr. Patel recently with helping me out with tutorials every day before and after school. I really appreciate you guys and I appreciate all the teachers that have helped me not just prepare for college, but also become a better person through personal development. Awesome, thank you, Kelly. Always glad to see you. All right, a quick athletic update from our head athletic director and coach, Coach Boone. Trojan Nation, Trojan Nation, how we doing? Uh, so glad to see you guys this morning. Hope you guys are having a great day and a great week. It's been an awesome, awesome experience uh, so far this fall in athletics has had a lot of great things go on with our football program, volleyball, tennis, cross country, uh, making regionals. Our volleyball team in the, was in the playoffs, really started off strong, super excited for basketball, girls basketball, boys basketball, getting rolling. Soccer later on this month. And so there's a lot of, lot of great things going on as well as golf. Uh, and swim. I mean, it's tons and tons of things to be excited about right now. And so uh, make sure that you show up loud and proud. Also, I want to send out an announcement. Anybody that's interested in being in football, all right, and want to join our off season in the spring, please contact me, uh, reach out to your teacher and they can email me or find me in the tut. Um, we'll get you rocking and rolling for a great year next year. So thank you. You guys have a great day. Man, we have some awesome people at Newman Smith. Every day I'm so glad I pull up and I look at our grand building and I'm like, the best people come here to Newman Smith. Well, scholars, uh, coming up next week, be looking at your email for anyone who could be an EOC, either first-time test taker if you were absent last year, or a retester. We're super excited about getting you guys tested and putting your EOCs to rest by passing them and moving on. So we know that a lot of scholars last year due to the coronavirus missed their EOC test. So it, this year is unlike any other, it's not just our retesters, it's anyone who actually missed the test. Well, I'm gonna bring my crew back and we're gonna tell you that we love you. We think you're great. Remember character counts and since you get it right, make, make it a great day or not, not the choice is yours. yours.